DJ. Anyway, I'm sure you're probably wondering why we called you for the nightguard position because one, you're the best candidate we got. Second, we desperately need a nightguard. Here's the reason. About a week ago, someone broke into the establishment and tampered with the animatronics. The reason we know this is because we noticed in the security cameras a person tampering and we don't know a lot of people that actually had the knowledge of the animatronics or the knowledge of the company and that's when we concluded it was an old friend of ours, Richard Viperson, which we have previously cut ties with. It's a shame. We were once good friends of him. We trusted him and he seemed to be a very friendly and trustworthy person. But during the advertisement, he did a very scummy move. He attempted to claim that the company was his. First, Rebecca found out, and as a result, we had to cut the advertisement, redo it, and then basically tell him to back off. The reasons were just plain jealousy of Rye and all that. I was the one that told him to back off. And after that, he completely turned against us and stabbed us in the back and tried to seek revenge. He's been trying to ruin our reputation ever since. Right now, the police are involved in this. Man, it's not very good. I personally cannot believe he did this. I thought he was very trustworthy. I guess I was wrong. Anyway, enough about him. Here's what's supposed to happen. The characters were supposed to be friendly. Like, Rai is supposed to be the energetic leader. My character is supposed to be the kind of the goofy guy. Including Rebecca, Bailey, and the other characters involved. They're supposed to be representative of us. They were supposed to take action in in case a burglar breaks in. Unfortunately, ever since the break-in, they see anybody as an intruder, including you. So here's what you can do. Check the cameras. There's a power switch in the office that you can use. And if the animatronic comes close, turn it off. You won't be able to see the animatronics, but they won't be able to see you. Everything is going to be okay. Now, I want to say this. Thank you very much for not only offering to help, but for also supporting us. Anyway... I hope for the best, and have a good night, and good luck.
Hello? Hey man, it's me, Rye. Are you okay? Okay, good. Yeah, I was honestly quite worried for you because there's actually something that Aaron forgot to tell you last night. Um, I'm pretty sure he told you that if an animatronic tries to get into your office, then you would turn off the power so that they can't see you. Well, that actually won't work if an animatronic tries to crawl through one of the vents. Because once they're in the vent, they can basically hear everything that's going on in your office. And since their systems have been tampered with where they see anybody as an intruder, they'll basically try to get into your office even if the power's off. However, you don't need to panic because there's an easy way to defend yourself from that. Um, if an animatronic does happen to crawl into a vent, then what you need to do is go to the vent cameras and double click on that camera to seal that vent. That way the animatronic will not be able to get into your office. However, there is a minor downside to that. These vent doors are a little dumb because number one, you can only close one vent at a time. And number two, they actually open automatically after a while because we need to conserve power and we need to keep the air flowing in the building because as you probably already noticed, we already have a ventilation problem where it has to be reset every once in a while. Uh, but don't worry, as long as you pay close attention to those things, you should have nothing to worry about. Sort of. Oh, you have a question? Oh yeah, that withered animatronic in the back room. Yeah, he was supposed to be Logan, also known as Sylvester Bot, and he was going to be an animatronic in this establishment as well, but unfortunately, the manufacturers messed up when they were building him. They got his color wrong, and they gave him these really freaky eyes, so we didn't think he looked very family-friendly at all. So instead, he's supposed to be a security animatronic, and we just call him Dark Bot. Now, keep in mind, I'm not sure if he's been tampered with or not. So he may or may not activate. Hopefully he doesn't. I would suggest keeping an eye on him just in case though. Uh, anyways, I do have to get going now, so I wish you good luck, stay safe, and thank you again for helping us out. We all really appreciate it. Alright, have a good night man, and we'll hopefully talk to you tomorrow.
is now mine to torture. <laughs>